All right, welcome back guys. So in the front view, let's create a sketch on the 2D background. And I first want to go to create drop down and select arc three point arc. And from this point here, I'm going to create another point here colliding with the canister. And right when we get that angle, we're going to go to the line tool and just kind of mess the reference a little bit. And it'll just go down somewhere around here. And let's just connect this with the front point. Now, once we close our profile, we can right click, press pull this. Now, I'm going to press pull this out to somewhere about, uh, let's pull this back right here. This looks good. Change it from cut to new body and let's hit OK. Now, let's go to modify chamfer. Now, I want to chamfer both of these edges here. So, here and here, and let's pull these out at the same time. And that looks good. Let's hit OK to finalize that. And also, let's go to the back end of this because I noticed we need to press pull this so it goes a bit further into colliding with the other bodies. So somewhere about here looks good. Let's hit OK. Now let's create a sketch again on the 2D background or plane. And let's use the two-point rectangle. And let's just draw a random rectangular shape here. Now we can just double click this and rotate this to better match the reference. So let's just line this up right about here. That looks good. It doesn't matter if you're a little off because we're going to be cutting this shape out to get the shape we need. So let's just make this huge. <laughs> now we can finish sketch and let's just select the profile so we can press pull this outwards. And that looks good somewhere about here. And now let's change the operation from cut to new body. And I'm going to change the direction from one side to two side, or actually not two side, I'm sorry, symmetric. So it's mirrored on the opposite end. And that's going to make sense later. So let's go back to the uh, front view and let's select this surface and go to create sketch. Now we can use our tools to outline this reference. So what I'll do now is go to the line tool. And this part's going to be a little bit tricky, but try to bear with me. So start from this bottom corner. And right now I'm going to give, I'm going to draw some guidelines excluding all the curvature uh, lines. So I'm giving myself some, some uh, breathing room right now. So now I'm going to go to create arc three point arc. And now I can uh, use these guides to guide myself when I'm creating these arcs. So you see, I'm just going from point to point and it's easier than trying to guess without having those guides there point to point. And now I'm just creating these nice little arcs. And let's do one more arc right here in the middle. So from here to here, and let's get that nice little shape there. And now we can use the trim tool so we can clip off these uh, guidelines that I created. So hopefully this makes sense to you guys and I'm not just blowing smoke. Now I'm gonna use the fillet tool to help transition the curvatures uh, the curvature lines from the, the standard lines and just making it easier for myself down the line and let's do one more fill it here and i could do some more but i'll just press pull this profile and i'll just pull it all the way through the opposite side change it to new body and hit ok now we can choose the combine icon above and choose this body and this secondly and cut it from that main body now let's press F to go into fillet mode and let's just grab these edges on both sides. And let's grab these two. And it's very particular that you grab it in this order because order matters in Fusion 360. You'll get some crazy wacky things happening if you do it out of order. <laughs> so let's just pull this down. We got a nice little transition. This looks nice. And once you're satisfied, let's just hit OK. That looks good. That looks real good actually. <laughs> now what I like to do is select this surface for the handle and let's uh, go to create sketch. And we're gonna use our line tool to start the shape that we wanna start outlining. So we'll start about right here, right where that arc starts to transition to a line, right about there. And now what I do is go to create arc, three point arc, so we can get this nice curvature shape here. Let's right click, hit OK. And I want to adjust this arc because that's too angled. Now let's switch back to the line tool. 
And now we're done with the line, so we'll go to the Create drop down, select Arc, three point arc once again. And from this point here to the end point, and we'll just angle this. Now we can go to Trim and clip off this guideline. And let's just move this point to the edge so we can now select this profile to press pull all the way through the other half. And change the operation from cut to new body. Now we'll go to combine, select the handle, and then we'll select the other body and we'll hit cut. Now what we can do is go to create sketch on this surface of the handle. And let's use our line tool to start uh, tracing the outline that you see here on the reference. And we're actually starting to make a lot of good progress on this model. And we're not gonna worry about uh, rounding off these harsh edges at this moment. We're gonna do it later on because we're just trying to get through the block out phase. So let's make this line go somewhere around here. Now what we can do is go to finish sketch and we'll go to modify split body. We're gonna grab our handle body here and the splitting tool will be that line we just created. And let's just split this just like that. Looks pretty good. Now let's select this and let's just press pull this to offset this a bit just to make it look a bit more intricate. And you see how it starts to distort the image. So what we'll do is duplicate this body. So control C, control V and hit OK. And we'll just right click and remove the original. Now if we want to press pull this, we can press pull it without it grabbing everything else that's connected with the history of that body. And this is really useful, guys. That's it okay. That looks good. We have a little nice little offset there. And we can round these edges off if we want to. So let's hit the hotkey F to go into fillet mode. And we can start to round off this half of the front edges. And we don't have to worry about the ones on the other side because we're going to split this and mirror it later on. So with these lines or edges selected, we'll just move this arrow to round this off to match the reference. And it looks okay, so let's hit okay. And let's just get a better look at this without the canvas. So let's go to the left side and toggle off the canvas. And we're gonna be ending this soon, so let's hit F to enter fillet mode. And I just wanna fillet this little edge here before we finish it up in the next video. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.